Let's move on from playing around with sandbox Wikidata items to creating metadata for real items. One of the things we need to do is think of some kind of item that needs to be added to Wikidata that would actually meet up with the notability requirements. In other words, items that would have some true value on Wikidata. Perhaps one of the easiest areas to find items like this to upload would be university faculty. Because most of the Vanderbilt faculty have already been uploaded, I can't really use those, for example. So I'm going to switch to my alma mater, Bluffton University. Here we see an example of one of the professors from Bluffton University with some minimal metadata. And the key thing here is that his employer is Bluffton University. So what I would like to know is what other persons are employees of Bluffton University that are already existing in Wikidata. And then I would have the potential to add some new faculty who are not already in Wikidata. One source of information that I can use is to go to the Bluffton University faculty page. And here I have a list of all of the faculty. So this is a good source of information about um, what their field is and so forth. I'm going to want to put these data into a CSV file. So I have prepared a simple configuration file for university faculty. And we can open it up and take a look at it. It's the similar format to the configuration files we saw before. It's going to output to a file called faculty.csv. And here we have instance of and sex and gender, which is another commonly used property for humans. Then here is our P108 employer property, which has two references. These are probably the most useful ones in this circumstance, reference URL and retrieved because I'm going to use the Bluffton University faculty page as my reference. And finally, I have an item for P101, which is the field, and also reference URL and retrieve for that. So it's gonna be a, a fairly simple spreadsheet that just has four properties that we can make statements of. Let's go ahead and download this configuration file by going to the raw button, right clicking on it and selecting save link as. I'm going to save this into my Wikidata test file and I'm going to go ahead and overwrite the existing JSON uh, file. So I will go ahead and let that be replaced. And let's go ahead and open this up in our text editor. So we have a few options here. One of them is whether we want the resulting files to be stored in some path other than the existing folder. I'm just going to go ahead and leave this path as empty. So when it creates the metadata JSON file, it'll put it in the same folder as this configuration file, and it will put the CSV, the output CSV file there as well. I am going to use the same configuration file that we used to create files last time to control download of the existing data. And that's where these two values here come into play. I have basically two options for how I can specify what data I want to download. I can have a CSV file which contains a list of the QIDs that I want to download data for, or I can use a graph pattern that will unambiguously define the pattern in the files. And that's the method that I want to use here. So what I'm going to do is create a file and I will call it pattern.txt. And I will go ahead and save this. Now I need to open a new text file. And in that text file, I'm going to put the graph pattern. So if I want to indicate people that are employees of Bluffton University, I can use this pattern right here. The QID that I'm interested in are people 
whose employer, that's P108, is Bluffton University, which is this Q number right here. So I can just copy this, then go into my blank text file and paste it in. Then I need to save this under the name that I chose, which was pattern dot text. If you're familiar with Sparkle queries, you'll recognize that these triple patterns like I used here are how we define the scope of the queries that we want to run. So it's not really necessary to understand Sparkle queries to do this, but if you know how to write graph patterns for Sparkle queries, you can make more complicated means of screening which items you'll download the data for. So I'm now ready to download the script that I need to get this data. So if we click on this link here, then go to the raw button, right click and say, save link as. I'm going to go ahead and download that into the same uh, folder, the Wikidata test folder that I used before.